everybody. Welcome to Let's Learn Excel. I'm your Excel instructor. Guys, today we will be covering for Visual Basics for application. So we have covered uh, a small uh, coding, how we can write coding, how we can write our own first macro message box, how we can, how, how we should, you know, learn, uh, you know, uh, loops and everything. So guys, today I got you a little exercise which can refresh uh, your little VBA and help you understand, you know, uh, how we can automate simple tasks. And let me tell you something, you know, today we are going to do one small exercise which will involve your Excel skill, little bit VBA skill. And, you know, let's do that. How we can do that without, you know, kind of uh, writing, without even going to Visual Basics editor, we will write our coding today. So we have already covered, you know, how to record the macro. So I hope uh, uh, the session which are covered is clear to you. Let me tell you about developer tab. Once you have your developer tab checked, it will reflect on the top. You can see developer is uh, light green is reflecting on the top uh, to the right. After it is reflecting, guys, you have the insert where you have the controls, form control and ActiveX control. So the difference already I told you ActiveX control has more options for designing form control actually used where you can assign the macro inside ActiveX control you have to write the code which works on the worksheets and so on. Let me tell you today we are going to cover little ActiveX control and then we'll see more options into that. Now you see after we have colored everything you know command button um, you know we can pull and then after we get command button you can see that it is coming there so let me tell you one more uh, you know kind of uh, uh, small thing uh, so that it can refresh you and uh, recapitulate what we have covered by now so now you see that in activex you just select this and you can park uh, anywhere so what i'm doing wherever i select wherever i select that you know kind of selection should become red so suppose this is the one if i select this it should be red so now you have to design mode you have to switch on and then you have to go inside this so what you have to write uh, the very simple code selection dot interior dot color equal to vb red so whatever i'm covering uh, you just remember those syntax you know there are uh, colors where you can put vb red vb green vb blue uh, you have to know little just about it for the time being then you you will understand later so once you click this, you just switch off. You can see that we are getting an error. Selection, spelling is wrong, guys. So you have to be very careful. You know, when you click this, you're getting the spelling. Object required. You just debug that or maybe remove that. S-E-L-E, -E, guys, okay? So now you go there. You can see this is right. Now you see that it is right. So it is good. So Visual Basics for application, it has all the coding fat inside that. It knows that. What is selection? What is interior dot color equal to v dot red? So guys, what you do, you just to you know go to home and you click this. So that part actually we automatically that. All right. So now if you record this macro, uh, let me that A B C one two three my macro. All right. So now you see if I click this, it is just you know selecting this or making the paint uh, making the color as yellow. Now I stop the macro. Now you see control R. So once you record that macro, it will make a module one and so on. So all the recording macro are kept there. So we have recorded this. So if I select this, see now the problem is it is just working on the selection. Selection, you can remove this by putting that in a single quote. So whatever you select now, so it actually making this. If you select the entire segment, so you can see the code where we have not talked about particular range. It is just working on the selection. So now you see if you go to home and you, so, sorry, if you just select this guys and if you go to developer, you can just you know, run this code. You, you put your cursor there anywhere inside this. So you go there on the top run F5. So either you click anywhere and press F5. So guys, this session is all about helping you understand, you know, kind of, as, you know, rudimentary knowledge of visual basics for application to kindle interest in you. So now you see we started filling the cells, you know, and we started doing this way. Whatever we click this, it will make the cell red. 
all right and now uh, this button actually is making you know kind of clear if you go to other tab this tab so we have the button called all clear guys okay so if you select everything and if you go there where is the clear code where we have all clear so no problem guys you make uh, another button com control you draw there and now clear all you can assign clear all so clear all means you have to select this entire thing you can clear all clear all means all is clear so whatever code you have written that code you can call anywhere in the worksheet so you know that all clear is working if i put something over there so you know everything is all clear so you have to select the area and then all clear all right if you put anything over suppose i'm putting some kind of value it is all clear so all clear means you have to select the area and all clear clear so now it is clear to you let me go back to my ppt and show you some more examples so now it is clear to you uh, that you know how we can paint the cell red and this is the uh, you know kind of code selection dot interior dot color equal to vb red so it could be vb green it could be vb white it will be black and so on so you know this is the syntax selection dot interior dot color and now this is the you know message which we have put welcome to let's learn excel macro and you click the button you will get this message guys so we are using over here activex controls where inside activex control you have to write your own code and now go to the next slide so this is actually one of my favorite you know combo box let me and so below on the basis of this combo box guys i just want to cover you know kind of some exercise which can help you understand that where you can use or utilize or leverage this option let me go back to my excel file and show you some example guys this is my dummy data this is my dummy data where i have to apply some filter on on the basis of country so already i have put the unique country list over there let me put the country list in the naming range you can press control f3 guys in the control f3 you have the name manager either you can go by that control f3 guys all right this is actually uh, the shortcut otherwise you can go to a long cut guys you have to go to formula you have to go to name uh, name manager you can see that option if you click this over over this you can see control f3 is there so you just click this the same dialog box will open generally i prefer uh, going uh, you know by that taking you know shortcut control f3 uh, this is more suitable now you go to new and unique list it is reading the header guys so it should read the header so now you see it has taken a1 so now it is not good so you have to add that so unique list you can make that uh, c o u n t y country i know spelling is wrong but i just want to make it shortcut uh, c o u n t count or uh, c o u n t country you can make make you can say uh, le pay this this is the french keyword french uh, language le pay the countries so i have the list all right so i can select this entire thing okay so you know that i have the uh, name range called lipay so now i have the name range called lipay if you press f3 anywhere so press f3 anywhere to have the list of name range so that you know if you have 30 40 50 name range available in the excel file guys it is difficult to retain the names so that's why this, this shortcut comes to rescue press f3 you have the list of countries all right you can select accordingly so now the criteria is you know if i have the you know if i write over there one country suppose i'm writing uh, us all right if i'm writing us over there so i want my country with us should be filtered over there if i write something else everything should come over there what should i do here so you have to make you know three, three helper column helper one helper two helper three so i need you to pay attention to that this is going to be very useful process alt h b a so what should you should do here helper one means what you can just you know put one one two uh this much data so this 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 automation video is all about you know to help understand how you can automate something without even coding so you don't need to, to get into coding if you have to you know make this uh, you know dynamic like whatever you select that should come in the filtered way so that you will understand now and this is an amazing example guys now you see that 
these are my uh, 20 items and now second one i can use my formula called search search in the search function what i am doing here find text of course this is my text guys this g1 actually is the constant text you know it is just you know absolute reference we have to use here so how we can you know leverage this option you have to if you have to drag this it will become g1 g2 g3 g4 and so on which actually we don't want now we have to log this guys we have to log this so how you log this search this is the option we are searching press f4 guys all right press f4 and then you are searching this over here and now this you can't of course drag it because uh, see you can't you know uh, lock this because you have to drag this to the down that should be not a problem but you can actually lock the column press f4 you know thrice so you can see that column is also locked so now you see wherever india is there sorry us is there it will give some value so you know it is giving some value here all right now you have to be very careful you know what actually we are looking for we are looking for actually this entire row like if value is there this four should come if one is there seven should come and then so on how i will uh, you know understand this if or maybe i can use is number is number then it will get me some value like that is number it will get me uh, such kind of values all right so now if i go if is number this is my logical test then it should get me this result else it should get me blank now you see wherever true is there it is getting us the value of d column all right so after i get this column i know you got an idea about it is easy now for us to get the data from these values so you know this is one of my favorite examples you know generally i prefer giving in all my sessions where people understand you know after they have used the formula they really get to know you know they the function revision actually here they have to use uh, their lots of formulas and now i'm telling you with these ways but after this you know we'll do something which we can do in just one column we don't need all three columns and that you have to decide maybe you can do by yourself if your function goes better then you can go by that now you know the values we got here 4 7 17 18 these values actually we want because wherever us is located those values are telling me this is my fourth row it is actually fourth row. we are starting from fourth row itself this is one this is second this is third this is fourth this is fifth this is sixth this is seventh all right and this is less 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 and of course this is 17 and 18 now you know that now i want to have all these values in just you know one by one column so how i can do that you can use a small function guys a small function you can use you can put entire array so that array means you have to press f4 to log that array and then you have to tell that you know first a smaller value all right so now you see that first smaller value after that you are getting these things so all the values you got over there 4 7 17 8 but what if we have the error how we can replace this error with blank so you can use this function if error if error is there it should be replaced with blank so after you have this formula you have these things available with you so now you understand now how did we create this kind of stuff to get the you know kind of value if you write india so now you see that these are the india rows india is located at fifth first row fifth row eighth row 13th row and 20th row so now india is located at first row fifth row and eighth row 13th row 20th row so what what actually we should do now we have to copy this entire thing we have to paste over there and now you see uh, the overall you know kind of stuff we can have in one go now we will use a function called index guys all right index now we have to be very careful index means the entire function we have to use what is my array index what is my array guys and row number of course i have the row number and then column name so maybe you can use this entire thing all right but you know will you really lock this entire things because a4 c23 is the range 
now over here we have to use kind of relative reference or you know just one function we have to write wherever we drag it the result should be correct so now if i talk about a4 c23 is the range so can you uh, log this range because what is happening uh, let me tell you something if you have to use this function can be done with multiple ways guys either you use this range all right a4 to a23 so what you have to log over there you have to log over there press f4 you cannot log the column you can log the rows guys all right the rows you can log and then you have to uh, row number what is your row number of course this is your row number you can park this one function somewhere else and f column you can log guys how will you log the f column by pressing f thrice f column is log and after you have done that you see what actually is the result product one and if you drag this you know 1 5 8 13 20 so this is my 20 20th row and you can see 20th row is the one india for 20 all right but you know if you drag this function what result you are getting are you getting good result or not if you drag this are you getting good result or not so now if you just you know drag this function up to this level and now see the result and if you put us over there this is the us data us and now let me hide this uh, let me highlight that us and let me highlight both the countries here us has four rows 4, 7, 17, 18. You know, Rachel, Harry, uh, Rachel, Paul, and then this is the US, guys. I hope you got this. Now, if you have to remove the error, you have to use if error. If error is there, you have to replace that error with blank, guys. All right. So now you see you have replaced everything just to, you know, uh, run this way. Again, you have to put that if error function. So you don't need to worry about it. The same function actually you can drag this way. So now, this is actually the result guys and now now the question every time i'm writing here if i read japan so this is my japan japan has three rows one you can see three okay one and now you can see these two guys mike and paul are there 15 16. yes the result is coming so guys if you hide this also how beautiful is that now you are writing anything but now the question is either we can make a drop down there or either we can make uh, you know kind of different but now as i taught you already developer tab why can't we go through activex control combo box button so you can put your combo box uh, maybe over there or maybe uh, somewhere here all right somewhere here you can make the combo box okay and then you can just see you can just you know see uh, if you go to properties in properties you have a list fill range option so as i mentioned you have to write the uh, range over there how will you write the range country or maybe lepay lepay is my range which we create that all right and uh, list rows are eight because we want to see eight in one go link cell link cell actually what link cell you can make japan all right now if you go there you cannot just select that way so you go there g1 you can make g1 is the link cell so you can make g1 enter so now what happens now if you remove this also so if you select if you go inside that japan japan is coming over there all right and you can you know make this make the font this way one minute all right now you see one minute guys let me do control z okay let me make the font white let me uh, select this. I think it's okay. So now you see that if you select Indonesia, Indonesia data is coming. If you select Singapore, Singapore data is coming. You know what is happening? One, two, three. These, these are the options, guys. This is better than drop down menu. You can select in India, India data is coming. You know, everything is coming from these three data set. If you have large number of rows, maybe some kind of presentation you have to showcase to your management so there such kind of you know little automation can you know show can actually create the impression so now you see that 
this is happening you know but you know that you know i know because we have these things available and hide this is the logic we have built so we are not showing it to somebody else either you make it you know white font uh, you can make anything you know if you want to do that you can just make this way all right and uh, you can just you know remove this line or whatever so you can just select this way and you can remove the format also i will remove the format go there no format no border so now you see nothing is visible all right so you know that if you have to do this kind of formatting you just go there and uh, put that now everything is coming so now you go there and put that everything now it looks better you know that value is there but people will not come to know that if you have to showcase some kind of presentation see the data this way this is coming from here only all right so but once you select the things we have linked this entire whatever selection to g1 cell so you can say that is also kind of see we can't read that you know but we have the option called link cell whatever you are selecting that is reflecting on a g1 cell and in the formula we have used if you look at this formula we have used g1 cell as a constant cell so everything has a logic guys let me hide that and i hope guys you really like this kind of automation where we have really used our developer tab you know this combo box you know and you know you, it is amazing it is very much useful guys you can do lot more things you know after you have used such kind of option so now let me show you some other example as i mentioned unique list okay so if we have a unique list and if we have to find the total count of uh, a column how many items are there so let's uh, do a small exercise with vba let's have command button put this command button there and we have the data in column a how we can find out how many you know rows are there so guys very simple first you understand what actually function we are going to use count a so there are two things you know every time you have to uh you know count this so you can use over there one function uh, called either you go to every cell okay uh, here again i'm telling you one more example of loop or i equal to 1 2 9 next 9 why i'm telling you over here little bit so that you will understand that you know it is very much requires guys in this kind of automation so that you will understand better since this example we have discussed with you you can relate this example to you where nothing is new to you because you can do by yourself it's just excel based automation we have performed and the entire uh, activex you know combo box has a link to g1 cell which you had seen by going to properties and in the list fill range you have put the name range and then link cell is g1 that's all we have done and after that we have painted uh, you know those helper columns everything in white and now on your selection the data is reflecting in the second table and this is my second table guys so you know these are things you have copy pasted so as so as the data looks like exactly same and now on the selection being made you can see the data is also reflecting here so this is amazing automation this is actually nothing but it can help you understand all the functions whatever we have covered by today so this this example which i am showing you by using you know this kind of scenario so you have to understand that we don't know how much data is there first so you can use the same scenario whatever we have used you know do until uh, do until range you can use that way a ampersand x equal to blank all right so now understand that it is just simple english grammar do until do until you come until you come until you know itself you know this is completely english grammar inside that whatever you do that loop will keep on running until this condition is met so now what is happening what is x you have to define x equal to 1 and now this is actually same example i am taking guys i am not uh, teaching you something new because i know at this time looping i'm teaching you but to help you understand so that you can explore more by yourself if you write a coding if you have to check you have lots of options we can use count function also but i'm not teaching you that way i want to help you 
and open your brain so that you can think beyond the box. Like uh, if the formula is available, if I know this kind of stuff, see if my start is happening with my loop, so loop will not be completely new to you. After some days, you can do some coding by yourself. So I'm just telling you, these are all basics, but your mathematics has to be kind of little robbers to understand such kind of coding. So x equal to one, and I'm telling a one. So understand that if, if I run this code by pressing F8, step by step of course it will go inside there because do until a1 equal to break because a1 is not blank that's why it is getting into that so now you can see that x equal to 1 and now m as g box x so now if i really run this code you know 10 it is telling me 10 10 is the count but actually 10 is the not count we have to tell that something maybe you have to tell this way minus 1 what is happening x equal to x plus 1 so if x equal to 1 do until it is doing that way clear so now you can do something rather than giving that you can see that uh, do until has one kind of issue where after it is putting one more value then it will check the suppose it is 11 or 10 it will go check change that and after that it will not uh, get another value it will come back so you have to do little tweaking in the code if you really run that code it is telling 9 10 is the count so you know this kind of coding you can customize to requirement guys so i know this part we have already covered this is not new for you guys this is not new we have already covered only i will cover this part to help you understand do until range a x equal to blank so you know when this is blank it will it is come out so then you have to do this kind of coding i hope guys you found uh, the session useful and the example we have covered you know in this session has been very you know useful for you to explore more opportunities where we have used you know index function and where we have used a a a23 a4 a23 if you go there it has become b423 if you see that it is a423 and so on so we have uh, done very efficiently this function let me go back to now my ppt where i can help understand more so now you know that how to create combo box from activex control guys all right now let me show you another example which we have already covered you know this is the cell you know range we have to give list fill range link cell and everything so now you see we have selected vicky or vikram that vikram you can see on the right slide everything is available there if you go to my next slide you know activex control we are using here and see that you know let's learn how to make the calculator which adds values so you know these are the values which we are giving let's let's do that calculator now so now uh let me take another tab or uh, let me read that let me rename that calculator vba calculator so guys understand now we are making our own calculator or maybe kind of addition addition you know tool so now let me go to my insert and take one text box this is the text box guys all right one text box you have drawn you can just copy this and you can paste this also name will be different but we have copied you can see text box one text box two now what will happen you will tell the user put your value 12 you will put 45 you have to add these values so to add these values you should actually need one kind of command button so that once you press that result will reflect somewhere else so again you have to use one command button so this is my command button so now you see this is my text one this is my text two and this is my vba calculator so you just copy this vba calculator and then you know uh, you go there inside these two lines we have to write the so you can just put this kind of dot uh, vba calculator coding guys all right you can put this way so you can put this way vba calculator coding what i am doing here sometimes codes are lengthy so developer gets lost so to to avoid developer being get lost they actually uh, do such kind of you know uh, a comment so that they know this coding is doing what if they have another coding it is doing what so kind of such coding so now you see that vba uh, vba calculator is the tab name okay in vba if we have to activate any tab what kind of code we have to write you can write this kind of code worksheets and inside worksheet you can write you control v uh, dot activate 
data if it activate so if we run that code by pressing f9 so by pressing f8 step by step so once i run that code by pressing f8 or maybe if you go there you can just go to this place and run that code. it has come back to vba calculator so now you know that it is my tab it is my tab name so what should i do now i want to have my result over there so you can actually you can actually put over here only let me put that font maybe let me do some kind of over. so now you see d8 is my range d8 is my range where i want to pass the result so what you will write over there range d8 dot value equal to one just assume that what we are doing understand this i'm putting one value okay so guys i am putting one value one value has come this is how value goes this is my destination all right so what i'm telling over there this value equal to one so the way we define in mathematics you know x uh, suppose x holds one value or x equal to one this is actually the same value you are passing one value to this one value this is my destination range d8 dot value equal to one it can be abc also but it will not come it will give error guys you know that nothing is coming perfect so what is happening guys you have to put that value you know or either if you have to write some value you have to write in the vertical format a b c d so you can see that we put that value is coming why the value is coming because excel knows this is my text always remember the text or any string has to be given in an inverted commas this is my text but number always just like a number all right now see now is the difference if you put one two three four it is aligned to right if you write a b c d any any alphabetical characters whatever it is aligned to left this is the difference wise numbers are always aligned to right or text is always aligned to left so you know this is the basic difference guys okay now let's start our coding you know if we have to make the total of these two values what we can do guys so you can actually write that uh you can just you know copy this uh, line of code dot you can just you know see that this is my comma box oh, sorry text box you copy this text so control c and you just you know put that dot value guys if you run this code what will happen so if you put over there 121 so 121 value will come there our code is reading this you know text box so now you copy the, again the text box control c and you again uh, you know put that value this way plus guys result will be zero or result will be uh, something else i will tell you what is the difference if i put 12 45 you know it will not make correct total because it will concatenate 12 45 you see the result 12 12 why 12 12 is coming because this is my text box one this is my text box two so you have to go to coding and you have to make this text box two all right so now if you run this code it will be 1245 you know that but this is wrong we are doing the addition so now what is missing over there always remember in excel if you are getting some value in a text box it is actually a text it is not a number again it is a text not a number so guys how to convert that text into number there is a function called val wall function wall wall means value function either you call it val function or this this is called val function or value function you can call it so val function or value function you can call it that function string as a string you can put that entire value inside that okay and again you have to use val function you can put that over there all right so this value function converts so let me write over there val function converts the text or string in numeric so now understand this 1245 it will give this result 57 now so whatever number you pass 34 i am putting two number it will give 36 all right if i give you know 27 if i give you over here 12 now you see the result so this is the calculator guys okay and now if you put some negative value uh, the result should be you know different so what you have to do over there you have to 
write all the coding guys so this is the basic function i want you to you know see this function for a minute let me copy this code and put it somewhere else sorry put it somewhere else maybe you can uh, write or read this code and understand what actually we are doing guys this is our function and now again you can do you know, design mode you can drop this somewhere over there you can just take this somewhere here so it will also easy for you to check the result in one go if you put 271 you see the result is also great control x you can put over there guys now understand this is the code which we have written i hope you are enjoying the session uh, since the session is all about uh, little basics of vba which actually can help you understand and write a small uh, snippet of code you have to explore a little bit a little bit about vba functions so over here uh, they are all basics i am covering because if you get some value in text uh, you know boxes that comes in a string all right and uh, if you open the combo box uh, or you know pull the combo box from activex control so that is requiring you know your range list fill range and there you have to you know make make some link so the basics which we have covered today very much going to be useful in your day to day task and the function which we have covered over here this is again awesome with this you know uh, with the help of this you can actually do lots of things i hope uh, you found the session useful thank you very much for watching the video